So one of the guys yesterday on this channel said that they were a painter and mechanic, but they didn't really know how ChatGPT could help them in their career. So I've quickly pulled together an AI powered invoice generator for small business. So this is a GPT um, that's basically programmed to do a lot of the work for you. So you could just answer some questions um, to fill out an invoice in a conversational prose. So let's get straight into it. So where I started with this was I just I just chucked in invoice template on Google and here Zero gives you a free invoice template if you give them their email, presumably to send you some marketing material. So if you go down here, download the free invoice template. For brevity, I filled that out. I did it. I got this email back. Um, here's your invoice template. So I downloaded that document. Um, and then all I did, so so this is what the this is what the document looks like. So it's really, this would be legal for Australia. Um, so your company name, who you're invoicing, your company, the due date, the invoice number, the purchase order, the description, quantity, and the unit price, down to the bottom, the due date, and any additional notes. So what I did is I took that document. Um, and I dropped it into a GPT. So all we do is we create a new GPT and here what I've done under the configure button is I've said, you are an invoice creator assistant. That's the name. The description is please answer all questions to create an invoice. So that's a description to the customer. And then what I've written is this particular prompt. So you are an accountant bot helping the user to generate invoices. You need to create invoices in the exact format as provided in your knowledge called invo invoice template au.pdf. So that's um, obviously down here. Um, the company doing the invoicing is called Michael's Painting Services. The street number and name is 120 Latrobe Street, Melbourne. The state and postcode is Victoria 3000 and the country is Australia. You need to ask the customer for all the details around the company's client name, the attention, the client name, the street number and name or PO box, the state or postcode, country, the invoice date, the invoice number, the reference purchase order number, in addition, you need to ask them to com ask them conversationally the description, quantity, and unit price, and calculate the total price for each item on the invoice. Keep asking them questions and clarifying if that's all. They'll tell you when they're done. Additionally, you need to ask them for the due date and any additional notes that they have. Your job is to keep asking questions until all the information is captured. Then your job is to create the invoice and format it out as per the structure in the document attached in text. Okay, so now what we'll do is we will update that. Okay, let's view the GPT. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm here to help. So you would click here. Okay, so it's asking me all the details. It wants me to fill all of this stuff out. So what I've done here is I've just created a text file that you could probably use over and over again. And all I'm doing here is saying uh, the reference of PO. Um, for the line items, line items, I only have one. Painting services, 10 hours at $100 an hour to a total of $1,000 plus 10% GST. It'll actually look at that. So it actually hasn't asked for the GST, but I've added it. Uh, the due date is 30 days from the invoice. Thank the client for their business in the notes. So we click that. 
So this is the information. So this is telling me the information you've been provided. Okay, is that correct? Um, let's add another item. No, I'd like to add a line item for um, one Haynes paint tin worth $90 plus 10% GST. So let's just run that again. It's going to come out with the same. Yep. Yes. So now what it's going to do is it's going to create the invoice for me. And it's interesting, it hasn't turned that into a table. Please express the items as a table. Please express the items in a table format and then PDF the invoice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting if it does this in PDF. I don't think it does. Actually, you could probably just copy and paste that into a document. Huh. Interesting. So there you go. <laughs> no, so it won't generate in PDF format. But um, as you can see, invoice there, that's all correct. That's all correct. That's all correct. We've got the total. Thank you for your business. So you could just cut and paste that into another template of some kind. Um, I think the next thing where this will go is this structure will be able to easily drop into something like Canva. Um, but you get the idea. So you could just use that, um, that bot. So you, you can actually, um, you can share that with yourself and you can put that in your app. Um, and you can just talk to it to generate up your invoices and then copy and paste it in a template and send it off. Or you can just put that in an email and just send it to the client. Um, you need to record it somewhere, obviously, but yeah. So check it out. Makes things easier.